Alright, so a cool way to play this lovely Dre Garcia riff is you're gonna put it's gonna we're spot the riff, it's gonna be on the octave. So you're gonna put your first finger on the third fret of the E string. That's one note. The second note is gonna be another G note, but it's gonna be on the D string, on the fifth fret of the of the D string, like this. Personally, I like to use my pinky finger just because it can, I'll show you why to use that way, but you can also use your third finger. So the first part, part one of the riff is just, that's it. And you just want to get that rhythm, that Jerry Garcia kind of groove there. Now the next part, is this is one way to do it is you are going to play the octaves again but we're going to start it's going to be your first finger on the third fret of the a string like this it's a c note picky finger on the fifth string of the g string like this it's also a c so it's an octave also so with your right hand one way to do it pick right there and then you can use your middle finger so it's going to be so you have that same kind of groove you want to so it's going to be other part to this intro is going to be you're going to go kind of like a little Chuck Berry kind of groove let's put the it's going to be it's going to be a double stop so you're going to bar the fifth fret of the a string of the b string and the g string bar that and then you're going to go and all you're going to do is you're going to hammer on that major third that Jerry Garcia likes to do a lot. I recommend doing a lot of muting with your right hand just to get it nice and clean, having it sound nice like Jerry. So all together, it's going to be like this. Now, one of the reasons why I think it's good to use the pinky is because one of the keys to sounding like Jerry is making sure that you've got those arpeggios down. Because I think that one of the things that really, when he's doing his leads and his solos, he's always throwing in those arpeggios into his scales, and it just really makes things sound very melodic. So, like, for... <laughs> So in the middle of the leads, you throw in those nice arpeggios, it gets it really nice and melodic. But for now, let's not worry about that, let's just make sure you can nail that riff, okay? So for Love Each Other, there's 
There's a few ways you hear. If you start listening to Jerry in different shows in the 70s, both the way he plays with the Jerry Garcia band and with the Grateful Dead, there's a couple variations of the way he plays that riff. That's one way. And I'm going to show you some of the, the leads in the next video.